But good morning, how y'all are? Today, we are making Japanese eggplant, with some bok choy, and some Kobe beef. Join me! Shall y'all? Now, now, today, So this here is from the Snake River Farms American Wagyu Beef. Snake River Farms is where a lot of the competition uh, people go when they're doing competition cooking. So it's a very highly renowned company producing very high quality meat. I put this in the freezer last night like a dumbass, so I'm going to have to let it thaw out for a second. But after it does, we're going to get started. So meanwhile here, we're going to be doing uh, some baby bok choy here. And some Japanese eggplant stir fry. We're gonna have some peppers back here and a bunch of spices and seasonings. Let's get into making that uh, seasoning here. Or I should say the sauce. This first thing in here is gonna be some fresh ginger puree. Then a couple cloves of garlic. Next thing we're gonna add here is some of this chili garlic paste. She was very hot if you ain't ever had it. It's basically like the, uh, it's like sriracha. Just more in a pure form. Next in, some cucumin. Soy sauce. Next in is gonna be some Oyster sauce. You can use fish sauce if you want to. But fish sauce is a little bit too much for my liking. I like oyster sauce. It's not quite as uh, stinky. If you ever had fish sauce before I smelt it, that smells like an asshole. Next thing we're using here is some rice wine vinegar seasoning. Let's get a little zing. And then we're going to add some rice syrup here, some brown rice syrup. Get a little sweetness to it. Let's grind it up. Let's see what this tastes like. Hmm, pretty tasty, pretty spicy, but good. So now it's time to prep our Japanese eggplant and our beautiful, these are so damn delicious. These are beautiful uh, little baby bok choy's here. Make sure when you're doing these, I rinse these really, really good because they get bugs like down in here and stuff. Got, got submerged them completely in water, take them out, drain them. In a basket like I did here. Really rinse them good. So all we're gonna do is we can cut these straight down the middle and that's it. So there's not a lot of preparation going on. These here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these about like so pieces. Cut them in half long ways here. Cut them in chunks about like so. We're gonna score them. With little little cross marks across here so that they cook evenly. And this will turn a bright neon color once it's hit that oil. You'll see. So there you go. I run a knife one way and then across the other way. I like playing tic-tac-toe. But see how it opens it up there? And that'll allow even cooking. So here's the last few ingredients we're going to need for this here dish. We got some dried sweetened pineapple, dried mango, and some cashews. When you're doing Chinese or Asian food, you best believe there's a lot of prep work goes into it. No one of them damn places has such shitty health scores. There's our bok choy cut in half, there's our peppers cut up. All these been scored here and ready to cook. Our eggplant. Here's a little our flavoring pot here. This is our rough chopped garlic, our onion, and our lemongrass. At the end, we're going to throw some sauce on it. Finish it off with these dried fruits, cashews, a few sesame seeds. We got some sesame oil in here. 
soon as that stops smoking, we're going to get started. Oop. I see smoke. That means it's time to fire. So at this point here, I'm going to add just a little bit of chicken stock to kind of help you steam with the vegetables a little easier to eat. So it's been about one minute since I added that chicken stock in there, and it just kind of helps some vegetables steam a little and break down so they're palatable. We're adding those uh, cashews in there now. Ooh, -wee. smelling delicious. I'm going to add this dry fruit in there and give it a little sweetness to it. The bok choy would be a little bitter if you didn't add some sweetness to it. So we're going to add a little sweetness in there. Make this a complete complex to your palate dish. Let's get that stirred. Now it's time to add that sauce we made. This shit's going to be delicious. Ooh, I wish you could smell this. Mm, mm, mm. It smells delightful. Ooh, -wee, I want you to look at that. Look how delicious that looks. You see how all them fruits and stuff just kind of turn their color once they get in there? It's a beautiful dish. It smells delicious. Tastes delicious. Okay, we're going to add a little sesame seed here at the top here. Sprinkle over it. All we got to do is cook our beef, put it on top, and we're ready to go. So we didn't have meat of this high quality. I don't need to gum it up with a bunch of seasoning and shit. This just got salt and pepper. We're gonna throw some sesame oil, give it a quick sear, and we're ready to eat. And you say, Chef, what would that meat go good with? Well, some katsu sauce, of course. There you go, folks. Try this one at home if you're feeling adventurous. Gong! Now time for moment of truth. Mmm. Mmm. Well, folks, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That's fucking delicious. I ain't bullshitting. I can't stop eating all this. It's so damn good. This is actually a really, really, really good meal. A lot of prep work. But you'll be rewarded if you do the prep work. I promise you. It's very tasty. Mmm. I want to thank you for joining me today. And as always... You guys have a great day.